1992, when poker machines got introduced to Victoria, within three to five weeks of trying them with a group of people, I found myself there every day, sometimes three to five times a day, basically as often as I could get money or time to go there. My behavior started to change from a very responsible mother and wife and friend. I became this person that was ruthless when it wanted to feed the beast. I lost a lot of money, but what was more destructive was the impact that it had on my family. When, when I knew that she had a problem, I started monitoring the finances more closely. Every time I sat down to talk to her about it, um, it became escalated very quickly. And we'd never had that before. We'd never fought like that before about anything. Sometimes she was fine and the Gabby that I knew and loved, and other times she was completely, complete stranger to me. It was very hard on the kids, um, especially when we were fighting, and um, they um, got together um, one night and forced us to come down and. They'd prepared a, a, a meal and, and a glass of wine and put on some slow music and got us to dance together and, and those sorts of things because they were very worried. Um, you know, they, they didn't want us to separate or get a divorce or, or anything like that. It's always a work in progress. We've been married for 40 years and um, our, our relationship, like every relationship, goes through stages and um, we are at a place now where there's the two of us, both of our children live overseas and um, we rediscover things that we can do as a couple, you know, not, not, not like uh, just a family. I feel like I can talk to him more honestly about things because of what we've been through. Um, and I just hope that, you know, our next 40 years will be better. <laughs>